hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to delete the items from our cart so let's get started with it so previously we had made this how to update this quantity in our cart so now let us see how to delete the items from our cart so here is our cart.php and here is the remove button so I'm going to give it a class called delete item okay let me just zoom in and we are going to give a value to this say value is equal to and we will just echo the cart id okay so the primary key in our cart table just copy this and go to your custom js and over here say jq on and the selector you just type document and over here give the event that is click and then your selector so that is dot delete item and then we're just going to so we will get the product id over here where prod id is equal to just say dollar this dot val okay so let's alert and check if we are getting the product id i mean the cart id copy paste and do a hard refresh there's some issue over here so let's go back to the code and we have written this let's go to this function so we have given it as the CID okay so we'll just print it over here say refresh okay so when I click ID number four this is three so I'll just open my database so here is my cards table and you can see we have four records over here and this is sorted in the latest order so this will be id number one and this id number four okay so we have got the cart id so now what we are going to do is we will just make an ajax call over here i'll just copy it from here so the method is going to be post and the url is going to be handle cart.php and this time we are not sending any quantity and the scope we'll just make it to delete okay so let's go to this handle cart.php so have it in your functions handle cart.php let me just fold this so it looks clean so the add is over here and then you have update so after the update we need another case and that will be we just kept this in double quotes right we'll just follow the same thing double quotes copy that and paste it over here okay so when we are deleting it we'll just take the product id so now we are going to check if the product id exists in the user's cart so we are just going to use the same query copy and paste it over here so this is nothing but the user id which we have stored in our session okay and here what we are doing is select star from carts where the product id is this and the user id is the logged in user so if the user is inspecting this element so this is id number four right so if i just change this to id number eight so that will be the product of some other user's cart so we are just checking if this cart id belongs to the logged in user itself okay so if it is true then we are going to delete that else we're just going to echo something went wrong so we'll just copy it from here paste so if this is greater than zero then we are going to delete that record let's 
okay and i'll just change the variable name also so I delete query delete from cards where id is equal to so we have passed the cart id right so just change this say cart id and our variable is over here cart id copy that and just paste here you can say where id is equal to dollar cart id and the user id should be the logged in user id say where id is equal to dollar cart id okay and here we have passed the connection and the delete query if it is successfully deleted then we are just echoing 200 else 500 so if this user does not have the product with this id in his cart then we are just going to echo something went wrong okay so we'll go back to the custom js and over here once it is deleted in the success function we will just echo the success message so in the add to cart function which we have made over here you can just go there and copy this and it's over here paste if response is equal to 200 and say item deleted or removed successfully else just echo the response okay copy and paste just go to your handle cart and instead of 500 you can directly print this and over here you don't have to make multiple else instead just pass this response over here now that is just test it so once if i remove this 200 500 I just refresh that thing is deleted so I'll just refresh and delete the another product okay okay so we have not given the break statement over here that is why it is also printing this 500 say break so when you refresh that product is also deleted so now when i click remove item deleted successfully so now when i refresh this thing is going to be deleted so we should not uh, manually refresh this right so once i click delete or remove button this product should be automatically removed from my cart so let us add few products add to cart okay just add some more yeah so now what we are going to do is in your custom js so once it is success i just reload that div so your cart div we have right over here this thing is the header right so you don't have to refresh this every time and our body starts from here so we'll just put this in a div say cart and let's say my cart so it doesn't repeat anywhere by chance control x paste it over here okay yeah so it's not repeated anywhere so now what we're going to do is we'll just use the space with hash so it's an id right and say dot load function and inside that you need the location dot href plus within double quotes give a space and then paste the id again okay so this will just 
reload that div without the page refresh okay done so just do a hard refresh and when i just click remove see item deleted successfully that product is disappeared from here remove so we have deleted this product from our cart so our increment decrement button is working fine but still some of you might face error because you are not reloading the whole document so instead of using this click you can just go ahead with jq on let me just show you you can just replace this line change the selector pass this e over here and you can just remove this whole line yes similarly even for the decrement button yeah and we have the add to cart button right so you can just do the same so in case you have multiple add to cart buttons you will not face any issue with this yes so everything looks good let's go and test the add to cart again add to cart add it to cart yeah so we have our cart items and we are able to update the quantity remove the product from our cart yes so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to remove the products from our cart so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you